I'm just going to go over some of George Soros' famous trading rules and tips. So hopefully by the end of the video you'll understand a little bit more about how professional traders approach the markets. Now if you don't know who George Soros already is, he is famously known for the man who broke the Bank of England. and. Basically what happened is in September 1992 he shorted the British pound and in a single day that trade generated a profit of one billion dollars. He's known as the one billion dollar trader. So essentially what happened is he crashed the British pound because the British pound couldn't stay in the exchange rate mechanism so they were trying to peg their currency. He's also known for famously founding the hedge fund company Soros Fund Management. Um, which is now known as the Quantum Fund and this is a really high performing fund. Apparently it racked up returns in excess of 30% per year and on two occasions posted annual returns of more than 100% so that's a crazy amount. Imagine if you're an investor in this hedge fund right and you have a minimum deposit of $200,000 and that $200,000 is now earning 30 to 100% per year. Just put that into perspective. So essentially He's a trader you really want to understand and you want to pick at this guy to see how he approaches the markets and that's what we're going to do today in this video. So the first trading tip that he mentioned was that you really need to recognize your mistakes. He specifically said, I'm only rich because I know when I'm wrong. I've basically survived by recognizing my mistakes. And what this means is basically understanding that he was not always right enabled him to actually do good. So he was able to cut his losses short and let your profits run, that old saying. Not only this though, but it also allowed him to objectively analyze and assess his trade ideas. So if he's recognizing his mistakes, he doesn't have an ego, he's let the ego out the door. And this is a major problem for Forex traders. Now, normal traders, they always want to be right. They, they always want that winning, high winning percentage, right? And this creates psychological biases which overshadow like the cognitive errors that these traders will make. You always have to remember, Winning trades are not always good trades and what I mean by this is you might randomly win a trade that you put down but over a long term entering these type of trades where you didn't follow the uh, correct analysis will actually lead to losses in the future. So it's a matter of the law of large numbers. You want to be winning consistently over a large period of time not getting really lucky in a short period. You know another great tip he mentions is that it's not whether you're right or wrong what's important but how much money you make when you're right and how much you lose when you're wrong. And this is really, really important for Forex traders. You know, George Soros knows that the key to profitability in the long term for him is more about having bigger wins and smaller losses than his uh, winning percentage. So this is completely opposite for many Forex traders. They're so fixated on those winning percentages alone that they forget to realize the risk to reward potentials. You know, re retail Forex traders, they're always focused on how many pips you're making. What, how many pips? 100 pips, 1000 pips, but you could be making 1000 pips a day and still be losing because you don't understand the risk reward potential behind each trade. It's not about making pips, don't fall for this retail trader trap, it's about making those percentage gains over a long period of time. Now another interesting point Soros made is that if investing is entertaining, if you're having fun, you're probably not making any money as good investing is generally boring and what he means by this is systematically profitable trading based on statistics is usually not exciting you know you're looking at numbers you're looking at reports you're looking at data and good trading in almost all instances is boring so trade ideas as said previously can take months to materialize meaning most of the time you're just waiting for good setups and whilst you're actually in a trade for long periods of time you're just there waiting so on the other hand Retail traders tend to find trading fun, whereas professionals tend to find it boring. And why do they find it fun? Well, they find it fun because all they're doing is gambling in lower time frames on the noise of the market. So that's why they find it fun. They find it fun when they're winning, but when they're losing, it's depressing because they don't know what's going wrong. Now, the earlier you come to this realization, the better. Make sure not to fall into that gambling mindset. Look over. Uh, longer time horizons to encapsulate large moves you know you're not looking to speculate on the noise now the final point we're going to cover in this video is that Soros mentions markets are constantly in a state of uncertainty and flux and money is made by discounting the obvious and betting on the unexpected now you can probably come across this a lot in the markets the obvious trade is usually not the profitable one 
you know, you've probably experienced this. Have you ever thought, wow, this head and shoulders pattern's coming up, or wow, this trend line's starting to appear. But in reality, everyone else in the market is seeing this. You know, the more obvious it is, the less likely it will work. And all you need to do is look at the statistics. You know, 90% of the traders out there, they're losing money, all looking at these same patterns, all looking at these same technical setups, the same free education. You've really got to be different if you want a chance at winning. Now, the profitable trades tend to be the ones that aren't what the consensus think. So this is why many hedge fund managers follow a contrarian view of the markets. They go against what 90% of the retail traders are doing. You know, if you're trading seriously, you really need to seek the mindset of a contrarian and to go against the masses because you don't want to be a sheep in the herd. And yeah, these are just a few of the wise words from George Soros on how he approaches the market. So hopefully you found the video useful and you can now apply some of these tips to your trading style. If you're interested in institutional methods towards the market, and approaching the market difference to 90% of traders out there, you can sign up your interest to the LogicFX Academy for free. Um, we'll be covering the global macro trading approach and in the Academy, we'll be discussing step-by-step -step the trade idea generation phase and then how to execute these trade ideas using various theories. Now, do make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos and thank you for watching.